It's Friday, it's sports time. I'm Ricardo Lightborn. This one goes out to Tyrone T. The brothers got his way in the kitchen, folks. Never seen George Moore Golf Tournament. It's all systems go for tomorrow. They got a reception tonight, but they got a special guest that came in today. Let's go to Megan Shepard. Rain, showers, and a red carpet greeted Olympian Pauline Davis Thompson Friday afternoon as she arrived on island for the first annual Edward St. George Golf Tournament. Minister for Grand Bahamas, the Honorable Dr. Michael Darvel, says that St. George played a major role in supporting athletes on the island. Mr. St. George had a passion for developing young people, particularly in the area of sports, and was also a mentor for many youth sporting programs here on Grand Bahama. Therefore, it's most fitting to be hosting this event in his honor. Patron Davis Thompson says she is honored to be a part of this event, and the highly decorated athlete says she is looking forward to a great weekend of competition. I'm happy to be here, and of course, I consider Grand, bah Grand Bahama to be my second home, and of all, uh, whenever I do come here, I always enjoy myself, and it is indeed a pleasure for me to be here and to be a part of this um, um, great function that we're going to be having. Sports manager at the Ministry of Tourism, Nuvalari Chudasing, congratulating organizers for recognizing the great contributions of St. George. I remember the days of the um, Battle of the Superstars, the Grand Bahama 200 powerboat race, the Vintage Speed Week here on Grand Bahama Island. All these races are an event St. George was a part of. Chairman of the Grand Bahama Sports Promotion Association, Fred Sturb, says it is a four-person team format and he's expecting a great time filled with prizes and giveaways. We're going to have um, closest to the pin on all the par threes. So there are prizes for that. Also, um, we're going to have, have a nice... Um, uh, SUV on the 14th hole and whichever golfer is able to dashy put the ball in the hole one stroke hole in one he gets the car. The event will take place at the Grand Canyon Reef Golf Course. It gives us a chance to basically roll out our various amenities for the athletes and we just hope that they enjoy their state while they do the best that they can over the tournament. Megan Shepard, CNS Total Sports. Fred said the record straight, Dashi is not a golfer. He is a pure hacker. Get that right. The Grand Bomb Amateur Softball Association Championships is going to actually be a pretty good one. The Control Chemical Sweepers, they are up one, one in a series over the uh, Pax Uniform Rebs 11-5. Uh, to five. Now, as far as the ladies, they're having some fun. The Port <laughs> On the diamond and ladies finals and the Follies girls taking advantage of the miscues by those flyers. Batter in the box, the shot to the third base line, the speed on the bases, and Follies in control of this one. Coach Sidney Thomas, hey, he's got that smile. And you know why? Saleka Williams got the ball for Follies. The Flyers trying to get back with the base hit to left. Portside went to the small ball, the good bunt, and they'll beat out the throw. Coach Thomas quickly called a timeout, need to settle down his ball club. He's up one, but he needs to get the outs. Next batter goes to the right side. The error by the second baseman. The Flyers now have the tying run on second base. The Flyers opted to bunt and it did not work out too well. Good play by the third baseman. They'll get that out and they still have the lead. The Follies girls needing it out in a close game. They close the door. Portside couldn't do much with it because they got the breaks. 10-9 a final. Follies also up in this series. Two games. And the Abaco Fast Pitch uh, Championship will start tonight over there in Murphytown. Is the Major Pain taking a little Abaco Flowers and Ladies title on the men's side. The Latima Constructionaires and the ANG Turf Bulldogs. Should be an awful lot of fun. You already know, Zosina Nesbitt High School Volleyball League is underway, folks. And our Kimberly Mullings is on the volleyball beat. The high school volleyball season is underway and student athletes and coaches are excited about it. Reese Davies and Roy Janae Brown led the Junior Lady Warriors to victory over LIS and they are confident about going to the championships. We're looking forward to more games like what we just played, more wins, fair play and practice and fulfill what we practice. We played awesomely. First of all, I'd like to thank my coaches because they're the only reason that we are here succeeding now today. And I'd like to thank my teammates. Volleyball coach in LIS, Nigel Kirkby, says he's focused on developing the junior girls team. Most of our players are 7th and 8th graders. So um, most of them 7th, actually. Uh, so they're really kind of finding this a big, big step up. 
Um, but they're, loyal, they're enjoying it, that's the main part. Our senior girls team are getting better and better every year. We've played in the league now for two or three years and they're looking to actually compete and um, make some uh, serious waves. The Falcons Junior Boys defeated the Jack Hayward Junior Stars 21-11 and 28-26. Tabernacle coach Jeffrey DeCarry and captain Nathaniel Bain know they have their work cut out for them this season. This is their first game, so most of them are rather nervous. Plus, we lost all the starters from last year, so this is a brand new team. So we have a lot of kinks we're trying to work out and try to solve. We have a lot of young people on our team, but eventually we're going to get into it. You know they're going to get used to the game, so we're just going to try to keep playing our hardest and going to get better throughout the season. The Panthers defeated the Stingers 21-17, 21-19 in junior boys action. Team captain Maestro Saunders was pleased with the win. We played good and we only won because of God, God first, and we played great teamwork. Lee Mullins, Zenna Soul Sports. And also the uh, Bernie Russell Pool Tournament starts tonight. Grand Lucan and uh, Power 104.5 Football Crew are going to be at uh, the JJ Plaza. Uh, that's a cool breeze in Hunters on Monday night. And who will win, Dolphins or Cleveland? Boy, that bitch dead. That's sports. <laughs>